Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for November 2023. This is a love reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, thanks to everybody for all the support. We're going to jump right into it, but I do want to welcome anyone who's new here and let you all know that I post new readings on Friday. Then again on Monday, Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. Now I've been adding in a Wednesday money and career reading. That's coming up this Wednesday. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it does something to the algorithm so people will see the reading. But then when that Wednesday reading gets posted, YouTube will make sure that gets into your algorithm so you know it's out there. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to attract the love of their lives into their lives. What does, well, let's put that here. Aquarius need to know about love, please. All right, we'll draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice, your energy, the eight of pentacles, the page of wands, the five of pentacles, their energy is the seven of cups, the page, I like this, the page of pentacles and temperance. The advice is the nine of pentacles, the eight of wands, the queen of wands. You know what that queen of wands says? Well, guess who else came to party? Okay, the Empress. When these two come to town, legs are apart for the reason, guys. Okay, I'm just saying somebody here is going to have a very spicy romance with this. And you got this guy too. Now, the pages are good too, but I can't hold more than four cards at a time. But I'm telling you what, get something heated here, but it's built on real love. Okay, so when the Empress shows up, especially randomly like it did here, she, we know she's ruled by Venus. She is the path to the heart. This is the kind of love in your life, a time in your life where you know love like no other time. It is that time where you say, this is real love. It's real, it's deep, it's meaningful, it's unconditional. And truthfully, for somebody here with your energy, it almost seems like it falls out of the sky because what you're focused on does not appear to be finding a new person right now. But we'll talk about that. You must be here for a reason. Um, so with this, this Empress energy, she also represents fertility. So if you've been trying really hard because you're, you've got a very focused energy, if that's what the, that focus is on, well, here's the baby coming in. Um, but overall with the Empress energy, it's being in flow and it's truly being in a time too, where everything in life seems to get a little brighter, gets to be a little bit better. That's what the Empress does. She brings in that feeling of love and it just makes everything go better. It makes everything go better. Um, and so does that Queen of Wands. But with the um, with the energy in, in your hand here, you've got that Eight of Pentacles. It's definitely a focused energy. So if you've been more focused on money or even a move with the Five of Pentacles or a job change, because that Five of Pentacles shows you moving on. Now, if it has to do with an old relationship and you've finally gotten to the place where you've been able to detach and decide, you know what, it's not coming back. It's not going to be what it was. Or maybe you took a second swing and said, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I'm ready to move forward. Look, you got somebody waiting here. Um, so I do feel like, too, it does remind me with the, this. I tell the story from time to time, so I don't know if I told it to you, but I know somebody who remarried their ex. They got a divorce and actually remarried, and then they got a divorce again. They divorced the same person twice. But what they described it as was like selling all their stuff at a garage sale and going and buying the old stuff back and then realizing they didn't want the stuff in the first place. They were like, that was a bad idea. And so I do feel like somebody here, you've got that feeling of, it's just time for me to move on. But I'm telling you what, you moving on, you bring out that page of wands energy, you're going to have them lining up the Page of Wands is like a truly magnificent person to know. Now, if you were in a relationship and you had a bit of a wandering eye, meaning you didn't do anything, but you had a Page of Wands that you encountered that had you looking a bit, and that was part of a catalyst to a breakup, I do feel like it may be a new person that you meet, but it does come into the cards. There's something about that Page of Wands that is telling a story here. 
in terms of wanting to be free, wanting to go out and see what else is out there, but it's in your energy. And so there's no, you know what? People are people. Stuff happens. I don't judge. I don't, it's not my business. You know what I mean? Like that happens. And I think most people would say, I'd rather have a, a person who wanted to be with me than one who was unhappy. So I do feel like with that page of wands, if again, if it was some other area where you needed to make a change and you've made it, that page of wands is just raring to go and get you out there. So the person that you're attracting, they have a great energy with the Archangel Michael. Uh, the Archangel Michael here, we've got Sagittarius, we've got Earth, Fire, and quite a bit of Earth and Fire, don't we? Um, and water, a little bit of water there. Well, with that Archangel Michael, it's balanced. So I do feel like they may have had a lot going on too with that Seven of Cups, trying to figure out some things in their life, making choices, having perhaps a, a change with their career path or even something to do with an extra degree or more, more education with that Page of Pentacles. Because that Page of Pentacles too, he can use a little kick in the hiney. And so especially with the, the Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles, it can be somebody who, who sometimes takes a while to, like you could have met them six months ago and all of a sudden they find a way to contact you or they run into you and you've never gone out with them. They run into you and go, oh my God, I, you know, I got into this other thing and whatever. It's not excuses. I really feel like it's legit if you already have met this person before. But what I will say with this um, energy is I do feel like they've had a shift where their life is a lot more balanced with the temperance energy, where they can be in a relationship. Because I feel like if it would have started sooner, it wouldn't have been good. They weren't in the right place for it. They had other things going on. Now, the Page of Pentacles is also a great card. That brings in somebody who is truly optimistic. They're cheerful. They're fun to be around. And, and they can make a commitment, though. And so with the temperance energy... They may be a bit like that go with the flow kind of energy. I do get that quite a bit off of their cards. And so, and, and maybe they're a bit indecisive too. Now, if you find you're that way too, you may be that couple that can never figure out where to go out to eat. And hey, if it doesn't bother you and it doesn't bother them, that's how you do it. That's okay. And so I do feel like there's something about that if you relate to that. Because I do feel like they may be a bit, like I said, they may be a bit that way where they're very easygoing, but they also might not have a real strong opinion on things like that. It's just not that important to them, okay? It's not good or bad. It's more of a neutral kind of a characteristic. But I will say with this, they definitely, with that energy of, of temperance, they are somebody who will be very caring, very nurturing, very supportive. But I do get this feeling of kind of flexible. And so you might find too, if you say, yeah, I, I dated somebody who was very rigid and demanding before, that may be a better fit anyway. So in your advice, it's like, who wants to fall head over heels? Now with that Queen of Wands, that's a symbol of great loyalty. And so I do feel like with this person you're attracting, I feel like they do want a commitment. So, and, and so for you as well, I feel like your energy is a bit fun and spunky. It's all about making that commitment, deciding and having a conversation about what you really want up front. Um, but with the Queen of Wands, there's definitely chemistry and, of course, the Empress. There's chemistry, there's physical attraction, but there is a connection beyond that, too. It's like you are you are well-suited for each other. And so the Eight of Wands, get ready, because when that Eight of Wands comes at you, things move fast. And so that Eight of Wands doesn't leave much room for second-guessing or, you know, wondering what else is going to happen here. Now, guess what? I realized I didn't get our Oracle cards, so we're going to do those at the end. I thought, God, I feel like something's missing. Now I realize what it is. And so anyway, with the Eight of Wands, things will proceed quickly. And that Nine of Pentacles, now she is the single lady card. And so for somebody, if you are in a relationship or, or there's something about that, I feel like they may be advising somebody got to be single first. Or if you have an eye on somebody who's not single, I feel like they're saying they got to be single first. Now, that might be for a very small group of you, okay? I'm not trying to call anybody out, but I do get that with the cards. Cards don't lie either, by the way. So anyway, with that Nine of Pentacles, the other thing about it, though, if that if you don't relate to that, is about getting yourself out there. The Nine of Pentacles does not spend many nights alone or at home. They get out with their friends. They have a robust social life. They go out and do new things. And so... Um, you know, you're gregarious Aquarius for a reason. So that may be very suiting. Now, 
We're going to take these and we're going to do the angel answers. I meant to do these in the beginning and I just got so excited. I have yet to do this, forget entirely until the end, until you're reading. So I apologize. You have here, new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. So it may be time, okay, to is you know be, be in a relationship that really is deep and, and transparent, okay, where there's nothing hidden. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know, please? And we'll do the angel answers. Again, I apologize because I don't like to do that many oracle cards all at once, but we're going to do it that way. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. And so I do feel like with that page of wands, that's an uplifter's energy. So getting into the connection of that even and, and allowing it to come through because your voice has a vibrational quality. Even if you're saying it to yourself in the mirror, I'd start there. All right, what else? What other advice for Aquarius and love? Messages for Aquarius, please. Guidance, please, for Aquarius. All righty. Listen to your intuition. So especially with temperance, meditate, quiet the mind, go deeper. And they even said it there too. I, I almost forgot, but go deeper. They're saying it. Recovery. So whatever it is that you've been through, it's time to get, get back on the saddle there. You have a golden opportunity. So you may have some kind of a chance encounter coming in too with that eight of wands within the next few months, they say, and you've got a yes. Okay. I love you too. Yes, it is in the cards, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.